Yeah, we we need to be ready. I, I, the big thing is, I think the focus. I think we've got two really good teams coming in. Uh, Regis shoots the ball extremely well. They rebound the ball very well. They're both in a position where they've really got to work hard. Um, they're fighting for a playoff spot, and I know they're going to have their best game against us this weekend. Questions? So, I mean, coming off last weekend, I mean, where, you know, emotions are sky high. The, how do you guard against hitting, hitting the wall this week other than him making sure you don't do that? I mean, I think it just starts in practice. Our focus, like he said, is major key, and we have to be ready because our target is growing on our back every single day. So I think that focus um, of wanting to stay at the top and just keep succeeding, is it's got to be there. I wasn't here this past weekend, but I heard the crowd was pretty incredible. I mean, it sounded like a playoff game, something like that. Can you talk a little bit about just the atmosphere of Brownson this weekend? Oh, it was amazing. Like, I think that's the most packed it's ever been. And I, it's just fun. It's fun. It, it hypes us up. It gives us energy um, when we go out. And I think um, it's good for us because there's moments in the game where we kind of drop down. And we, the crowd basically brings us back to that, to that energy that we need. So it's a lot of fun to be in that atmosphere. Kelsey, was it hard to kind of concentrate and obviously hear when the crowd got going? Um, sometimes it was hard to hear, but I think, like, I think we were all focused during the game and we were in it. Um, I think it actually helped bring energy and intensity to the game. Um, but yeah, it was definitely fun. <laughs> Biggest game of you guys' careers, maybe, atmosphere-wise at Bronson? I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Mindset of that going into the game against West Virginia, you guys both undefeated, you knew it was going to be a huge one. Kind of met your expectations for the day? Go ahead, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all knew it was going to be intense. It was going to be a battle. Um, I think both teams fought really hard. Um, both played pretty well, and it'll be a battle again when we see them next weekend, but we're excited. And I think, too, like, we go into the game knowing that every game is going to be a battle. We don't – I mean, we put more thought into, you know, the teams that are right next to us, but at the same time, we have to expect everyone to play their best against us. Yeah, Coach, I'm guessing you've – the message to the girls has been now, everyone's going to be looking to take you down. How yeah. How do you respond to that? Well, I mean, we've got to continue to get better. And, you know, I, I think we're comfortable with what we do, um, but we still got to stay sharp. And that's one thing, I, you know, this week that I really want to get out of them a little bit more is that we're sharp and we're ready to go. And, you know, we can't dig ourselves in a hole this weekend. Yeah, I think it goes a long way, um, like with the confidence aspect. Um, and I mean, like I said, it's still it's still basketball, and there's teams out there that want to beat us, so we can't be over motivated by it. But we can we can use it as a little bit of motivation. What what has kind of it's not really flipped a switch, but what have you guys learned or taken from last year or Jay the last three years to kind of do what this team's doing right now? I mean, you're very self-motivated. Coach doesn't have to really get on you too much until he decides he, you know, he wants to. <laughs> he, he needs to, just yeah. for effect. But, I mean, you guys are really self-motivated. What started that? I think the girls that were brought in is just a different mentality. Like, everybody wants to get better each day. And it, we might face adversity, but it's not, it's not going to hold us back, and we're not going to lose because of it. So I think that is definitely a big change from the last couple of years is our mental focus and just – being strong players. So Kelsey, I mean, you know, KB was laughing all, you know, all 28 sophomores. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have really kind of banded together and pushed each other because so many sophomores have to play huge roles on this team. Yeah, there's Everybody a lot of us. Ready for that? Yeah, I think we all, I mean, we were all freshmen last year, and so we we're all just trying to kind of learn the way. And now this year that we're all sophomores, I think we just kind of realize we play better together and we just kind of take that to heart and you know stronger in numbers so <laughs> and there are a few of them but, uh, 
Yeah, and I know last year, you know, the freshmen, you know, they're going to get better, they're going to get better. You know, and it's, it's one of those things where you just have to be kind of patient with the young kids. But did you envision this group of sophomores jumping in the way they've done this year? When I recruited them? <laughs> or last year? You know, I think the, the one thing that's really important to understand is when freshmen come in, we judge them on the outgoing seniors and where they were at. And I'm guilty of it. Fans are guilty of it. Teammates are guilty of it. Where we look at them and say, well, they don't do this and they don't do that. But, you know, when we recruit them, we're looking for a specific um, talent and something that they can bring to the team. And that's why they're here. They, they have something that they're going to bring to the team. And eventually it's going to click for them. And I look back to every single year that I've been here and that first year's a, a learning curve for a lot of the teams. And it takes a little bit to, to get comfortable with the system and with their teammates. And, uh, and then they are really good that next year. Uh, this weekend you held both teams under 50 points. Was that kind of product of the environment with the, the loud crowd and kind of feeding off the energy? Or is that something that you guys have been focusing on working on in practice, uh, pushing kind of a, a defensive mindset? Oh yeah, I think that's that's kind of our mindset, like you said, in practice and everything. We want to hold teams under 50, especially those teams that you know lead the RMAC and scoring and things like that. It's really it's really fun to do, but also the atmosphere played a big role in it. Like I said, we like let down a couple times, and then that energy kind of brought us back into it. I, you know, and I think it was one thing we talked about. It was offense versus defense, and the girls did a phenomenal job and. You know, both teams, we almost held them under 30 of their scoring average. And I, I think they kind of took that as a challenge. And they go out there every single possession. And we know they're going to score. But I think we all have the mentality that we don't want them to ever score on any possession. And that's what they take. And, and they've got to continue to do that for us to be successful. I was talking to Coach P after the game, she was sitting at the table and she said the last four or five minutes on defense, she said all I could see were hands everywhere. Yeah, I said, this team probably does as good a job as any of really getting after people and trying to close out hard. Because you just kind of feel yourself kick it up one more notch the last few minutes of that game? I mean, yeah, I definitely did. I think. It started a little bit slow, and then we, as we got like the nerves out and things like that, it, it was like, okay, it's go time, and then our flips, we flip the switch, and it's it's time to go. And I think in the last um, quarter, like you said, or like the last couple minutes, the uh, crowd, we can hear them, you know, roaring and stuff like that, and that kind of just gets us going, and that makes us want to push harder, and that's where you see our best defense. Janet, it seems like you've figured out kind of. How teams are obviously got a gimmick and try to take you out of things. Mm -hmm. You figured out how to be patient and wait for chances, and then also you're attacking more. Is that something conscious or just kind of hitting in the flow of the game? Um, I think it's just the flow of the game, and then I don't want to rush myself and you know take bad shots and put my teammates in bad positions. And it's like if they cover me, okay, Kai's going to go hit a shot, Kelsey's going to go hit a shot. So I'm not really worried about it. And and if I get an open shot, I'm going to take a good shot and that's that's just the way it's going to go